Hi farm friends, my name's Georgia from Grow My Goodness here in the beautiful Bay of Plenty, New Zealand. If you're interested in flowers, vegetables, small scale farming and market gardening, then please subscribe to my channel because we are just getting started and I post new videos every Thursday. Let's go. In this video we are going to talk about how we got started with our glass houses. Why did we need a glass house? Well we knew we needed it to be able to propagate seeds all year round. A lot of the seeds require a very warm humid environment and the glass house provides just that. Having the glass house enables us to create a very controlled environment. For example with my peppers they required 20 degrees Celsius to germinate. So we were able to achieve that here and they've germinated really well. I've only ended up with about four cells in this tray that didn't germinate. So we missed out on four plants out of a possible 32. So that's not bad at all. These will all go out into the field. Some of the time we end up with a lot of seeds that don't germinate. You can see here with the um, dark opal basil. Um, so by doing this process, it also allows us to select only the best plants to go out into the field. And we're not putting plants out that wouldn't have germinated. The seedlings spend about four weeks in the glass house before being transferred out into the field. So we're minimizing the time spent in the garden bed and maximizing the use of that space in the bed. So in a tray like this, we can have 128 plants taking up a very small amount of space for four weeks. When they go out into the field, they'll be planted out um, with a bigger distance between the plants taking up more space but it'll be for a shorter amount of time than if the seeds had gone straight into the ground. Getting the timing right is really challenging even watching other market gardeners on YouTube who've been doing this for a really long time they all say you have to figure it out yourself so that's what we're doing we're just planting and planting and putting things out and trying to figure out what our succession planting is going to be what our timing has got to be. Another good example is our tomato plants. We planned on having two beds of tomatoes, each with about 50 plants. So we propagated all of our tomato seeds. We had a lot more than what was required. So by the time the seedlings were about to outgrow their cell tray, we transplanted directly from the cell tray into the field. The plants were still quite small, so we had a lot left over. We decided to pot up the rest of the leftover plants and keep these as spares. We have ended up needing the spares and we've replaced a few of our field plants that got damaged from pests or weather or just weren't growing that well. So we're keeping some spares to transfer out into the field if we need to. Another benefit of the glass house is that all of our seedlings are protected from the weather, from pests like rabbits and mice, and it's just a really controlled environment. So how did we actually get our first glass house? Well, we didn't budget for a brand new one. So we started looking on local buy, swap, sell groups for something second hand. We found this glass house on Trade Me for 80 bucks, which was a bargain. So we went down and got it. It wasn't too far away. We brought it home. We water blasted it and we built a frame, a wooden frame for it to go on 
It was about $280 to build the frame. We built the glass house, put all the pieces together. We, none of us had any experience in building the glass house. We just put the puzzle pieces together and made it work. We did have to get a few extra pieces of hardware like the bolts and nuts and the glass clips and some new rubber for it but we were able to source that all from Eden glass houses. The glass house was at least 30 years old so it was kind of in rough condition but we managed to get it up and get it looking pretty good. Once we'd assembled the frame and the base and started putting the glass in we realized that a lot of the glass was missing so we ordered the replacement glass it did set us back $480 but it looks pretty good now that it's finished. We built the benches to go inside of it. We're not fully satisfied with the plywood on top. We're probably gonna look at upgrading this to something that drains better, but it works well for now, all, all up about $600 to get our first glass house going. We also installed some irrigation into this glass house to make the watering process easier. Unfortunately, it didn't work that well. The misters, we just need to get some finer misters because they're dripping big drops onto the plants that sit right underneath it. So still working on the irrigation for this glass house. This glass house is facing northeast, so it gets a lot of sun all day. So it gets really hot. So we put these shade cloths on it. Um, just where, where are we? Mid spring now. Yeah. So we put these shade cloths on it. Um, starting to get a lot hotter now. The thermometer in the glass house normally during the day it sits around 25 degrees, 20 to 25 degrees. Not long after we'd finished building our first glass house we found a second glass house on Trade Me. This one came with most of the glass and was only $500. So we picked it up, brought it back, cleaned it off, built the base and before we'd even got the glass in and secured it to the base, we found a third glass house. It looked identical to the one we'd just got. Most of the glass in it, $500. So we had the great idea to put the two glass houses end to end and make one big glass house. We built the frame and we put the walls up. We were lining the roofs up and it wasn't quite fitting. We took a step back and realized one of the glass houses was slightly shorter than the other. But because the size of the roof and the angles were the same, it was pretty easy just to build the base of the shorter house a bit taller to make them fit perfectly into one big glass house. So with the help of the family, we were able to level the base and get a trailer load of new gravel to put inside. We got all of the glass in. We got some replacement glass for about $200 and some replacement hardware for about $100. And ta-da, we have our big glass house. We haven't got any benches in this glass house yet. We've just got our bits of wood and propped them up off the ground to put our seed trays on. We don't find that it's an issue for us at the moment having the seed trays down so low because we don't need any storage space in here and we're just watering everything by hand. Because this is two glass houses joined together end to end, we've got two doors, one at each end, which has been really great for ventilation. And this glass house being a bit bigger, um, about six meters by two and a half meters, it doesn't heat up quite as much as the other glass house. I imagine in summer, which is not too far away, we will definitely be putting some shade cloths on. Because these glass houses, normally where I'm standing, would be a whole wall here. We've added some things just to help stabilize the house. So we've added some timber down the bottom here and some steel coming down the sides here just to give it a little bit more strength in this area where normally there would be a wall. So the glass house has held up pretty good so far. We do get some really strong winds around here, but it's still standing and we've still got most of the glass. We did have quite a bad storm with some really high winds. And um, one of the windows actually 
flew out so we do need to replace that piece and we ended up with a couple of cracks just here and uh, one here we do actually have a spare piece of glass so we are going to go ahead and replace, replace this piece today whether you're a home gardener or you're setting up your own market garden, getting your glass house set up is a really great fun project. And we didn't have any experience in building glass houses and we've managed to get two great glass houses set up for under $2,000. Well, that is all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then please give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, then please subscribe to my channel so you can follow my journey. Well, I've got some work to do. I will see you guys later. Bye. My peppers. I did it again. What? Start again. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I need the book. Yeah. Why are you shaking your head? Yeah, that's good. We. Ah. I'm supposed to be the director. Alright. You don't know what the script is. <laughs> it's like a maths lesson. It's a really yeast. Yes, nah. Again.